Good evening. We begin tonight with the latest on COVID-19 as we see an increase in the number of new cases across our province and our area. While it's been 10 days since the province hit a peak of 939 new cases, Ontario is still seeing much higher numbers in late September. This chart shows the new cases reported each day for the past 26 days. You can see that peak mentioned 939 back on October 9th. From there, the cases move lower, however, remain well above 600 with 704 new cases reported today. And with that, we're learning new details about the wide ranging spread of coronavirus connected to an outbreak at a downtown Hamilton spin cycle studio. Public Health released a report today showing how the virus spread from Spinco to other people and places. So far, at least 74 people have caught COVID-19 from the outbreak. Matt Ingram has more. This flowchart shows how the outbreak spread from one place to many more, infecting people who didn't pick up the virus at Spinco. We wanted to show what happens when you do have an increased number of cases, just how far reaching the impacts can be and how quickly spread can occur and why following measures all the time is so very critical. The chart from Public Health offers a glimpse into how 48 primary cases at Spinco led to another 26 secondary infections and the potential exposure of more than 50 other locations to COVID-19. Locations including homes, restaurants, gyms, retail stores, healthcare facilities, and even schools. Locations public health will not identify as Dr. Elizabeth Richardson says there are limits on what they can say about the outbreak. We have consulted with our privacy oper officer about that and we've gone as far as we can. City epidemiologist Mackenzie Slivers says not all of the locations led to positive cases, but some did. In a select number of these uh, additional settings, um, we have these 26 uh, secondary cases. More secondary cases could emerge as the city continues to investigate. Public health is issuing new interim guidelines for local gyms to try and prevent this from happening again as they wait for the province's public health measures table to decide if further COVID guidelines for gyms should be added province-wide. In terms of gyms, is there more we should be doing? The guidelines include ensuring ventilation systems are working properly, no shouting or singing in exercise classes, physical distancing of at least three meters, a limit of 10 people, including staff, in a workout room, and making sure people now wear masks while they're working out. Public health is recommending the city's mask bylaw be amended to include people working out. Certainly, we could uh, go ahead and amend the bylaw. Totally appropriate, given where we are. Public health also releasing a report today finding more than half of all of Hamilton's COVID-19 cases are visible minorities at about 51%, despite the fact they make up only 19% of the population. The city's black community has been particularly hard hit, making up only 4% of the population, but accounting for 14% of all COVID-19 cases. There is um, a disproportionate impact of COVID-19. That disproportionate impact is being seen in the city's low-income households as well, where you're more likely to catch a case, and with healthcare workers. Public Health says 20% of all Hamilton's coronavirus cases are among healthcare workers. That's a staggering one in five. As for the outbreak at Spinco, so far, Public Health says no one has been hospitalized.